Hey folks, I've decided to make a video on uh, upgrading of old gate automated system and I'm doing this video on my own so this is have to be part slideshow part video. We're going to use the new BFT sub motors, it's a hydraulics motors and replacing this old electromechanical system. So stay with us and hopefully this is going to be useful for someone. We already caught the old spline and trying to remove the old box. clean this hole and as you can see the old install was done on base plate metal plate now after digging this place all we're gonna do lower down and make a new foundation plate. left to level against the gate and just fixed to the plate. Bring the gate into the false position, level the gate in all, in all angles and basically fix the new box to the plate so that everything is central. After all we have box is secured, welded to that new plate also, we've done the drainage, uh, I'm using 2 inch pipe as a drainage and it is a very important aspect of all installations to have a proper drainage that all the water, if it's going into it, it drains out properly. After all hard work been done and concrete in the box, uh, this is the spline that joins motor with the gaze. In our case, uh, it was a little bit short because the gate installed a little bit higher, so we had to add a link, and that link is going to go inside of the on top of the box. In this case, this is left side motor, and on the spline there is a little uh, notch, as you can see here. You can see here that needs to be lined up with the notch on the box itself. So that's the position of the spline that's going to be welded to the gaze. This is a set of hydraulic type of motors. That it looks like that. And the settings on the motor needs to be done in two easy steps. First of all, it comes with a disc that has a markings, center markings, left side and right side. First of all, all you have to do is open motor into the manuals with the E. This is the left side setting up. You close this motor all the way. To the close position. Then place the markers right on the middle. 
and pull back till you get to the X sign as you can see that means is that uh, this motor has a slowdown facility and before it goes to the fully closed position it will uh, go in with a slow speed same is going to happen in open position if the gate is fully 90 degree before it's fully opens it will have a slowdown facility after all settings are done as you can see line with the line of the groove and that is the correct way to set up all it's left is put this motor inside of the box and weld everything solid After welding the gate solidly and fixing the motor into the box, all the left make connections and basically set up the motors with the slowdowns and set up the operation. Also for this system, the electromechanical had a physical stops inside of the motors, but in our case we have to make it up our physical stop here. So we dug a hole with the mount of the place for the physical stop for the close position. After all work hard work was done, all is left is two throws to slow down on the motors with the little power in here to get a smooth operation of the gate.